Now, it's only been two days of work by the Emil Short Commission of Inquiry investigating the Ayawaso West Wagon by election. But you'll agree that the details emerging are very revealing. And yes, also confusing, leaving us with more questions than answers. Here at Joy News, we have some questions. But first, watch this. My Lord, ideally, uh, the district commander in whose jurisdiction the by-election is supposed to be held should be part of the exercise. But in my case, that they did not have a call around 9 o'clock from my original commander who didn't make me part of the exercise. That he has heard that some shootings are going on around Baolishi, closer to the uh, the NDC parliamentary candidates' house. So I should go and uh, assist. So it begs the question, why didn't the Baolishi police or East Legon Police Command, located within the Ayawaso West constituency, play an active role in election security? National Security Minister Albert Kandapa said six warning shots were fired. Later, they also said they heard gunshots coming from within the compound of the house. The, uh, our boys then gave some six warning shots. But a video obtained by Joy News tells a whole different story. <laughs> That's obviously more than six. Now, even more confusing is this account from the East Legon police commander. Watch. There were, there were many, my lord. Many. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. they were holding them. If I'm not mistaken, it will be over 20 per okay. what I saw. Okay. And were you able to find out the source of these empty shells who had you know, fired these uh, gunshots, the empty shells that you saw, were you able to detect? I, I inquired. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the information they gave me was that uh, they were fired by the, the, the task force team that came there. So how many shots were fired? Let's come to the controversy over those who sustained gunshot wounds. You recall, Mr. Kandapa told the commission that no one was injured as a result of the gunshots fired by his men. Our boys then gave some six warning shots, which they tell me did not hit anybody. But obviously, I await the end of the investigations to find out exactly what happened and how many shots they fired and whether it did uh, hit somebody. But we have videos of some injured people. Shit. Oh, Tale! The man is shot. Boss, 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 wait. Boss, wait. Oh, Tale, Tale, wait. Wait, wait, I'm on live. Listen, I'm on YouTube live. I should so who shot and injured the people in the video? But the bigger question on our minds is what actually sparked this violence? Here is Minister of State for National Security, Brian Achampong. Uh, the surveillance was still going on. They heard some gunshots coming out of this house. They approached the house. At that point, they were being pelted with stones. They fired warning shots from outside the building. And then 
all the people in the building inside and outside started um, running away. Now, in the process, they arrested nine people. And in the process of arrest, uh, some minimal force in their language was applied. But the East Legon police commander, George Asari, told the commission a different story. We're there, uh, and then uh, the security men approached them. That why have they parked? Why have you parked these motorbikes here? And, uh, and, and one of the security men wanted to take one of the motorbikes. And the people said no. And the people said no. And uh, that was what degenerated into all those. Same question. Different responses from those who are at the helm of your security. So far, the commission has discharged its duties very well. We are looking to an even more thorough job, the outcome of which will give the anxious Ghanaian public a renewed hope in the security of the nation. All eyes are on the commission to deal with this matter because we cannot go into 2020 without a clear commitment to best practice, respect for divergent opinion, and peace.